Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to talk about a topic that could be um, that's uh, it's been painful. Uh, I certainly have gone through this in my career, um, and it happens. Um, it happens sometimes, you know, more often than we would like, right? Uh, so the question is: Sometimes you go through interview or interviews, and you think they went really well, and you still did not get the job, and you are left wondering, what the heck happened? What am I missing? What, what did I do wrong? A lot of these reasons have nothing to do with you, which is extremely important to understand. Sure, there are things we can, we can all improve upon, but often the reason you don't get the job is nothing to do with you nothing to do with you right uh and we have to know that because otherwise you you you, would, you get so bogged down in in the rejections that you don't you can't go forward I and mean, that cannot happen you got to get up and go right so before i start uh please subscribe to my channel uh when i get i see new subscriptions um i f i feel like somebody's getting help from this and that motivates me to do more and more videos every day okay so let's talk about why you did not get the job that had nothing to do with you. There are four main scenarios that that happens, right? And you may, you may not think about them. So there was a hidden level of expectation that they did not say. So let's say that they, the job said um, DevOps engineer or um, SRE, right? But really they're looking for somebody more experienced than your level. Your, your interview might, might go well, but then in the back of the interviewer head, he or she is thinking he's good, but not that good. They don't say that in the, in the, in the um, job descriptions, or they don't say that in the interviews. So there's a level uh, that matters that in, in their head. Sec, um, in par parallel to that, sometimes they're looking for a particular skill, and maybe they ask one question about that or two questions about that, and your answer wasn't, all that great and everything else was great yet for that one or two questions uh, you know the, uh, you, you didn't pass right again there's not a whole lot you can do about that because they don't say that second competition you may be good but there was somebody else in the pipeline that they think is actually better for whatever reason you're good you're good enough for this role but somebody was better right um they don't say that and sometimes you see that um, you, you, you were not rejected or you were rejected, but they come back to you because that other person didn't work out. Or sometimes you were, you were ghosted, meaning you didn't hear it one way, positive or negative, because they're holding on to you. They're holding on to you until they figure out whether or not this other person is gonna accept the role or not, right? So there's competition that you don't know about. Um, sometimes this happens is that in the interview panel, let's say that you had four interviews, and one of the key person in the, who interviewed you uh, basically did not like you, and that one person that one person was the reason why you didn't get you didn't get the job. That happens um, uh, sometimes, and again, there's nothing you can do about that. Last one, this one, um, you may uh, think about it in a deeper way because it may be it is possible, which is they would use the word culture. Culture sometimes is really meant to see if you're a nice person, if they think you've been, it'll be easy to work with. And they're getting the vibe from you during the interview through eye contacts or body language or the kind of words that you use. And they're looking for um, you know, whether or not you might become toxic or may, you may not work with these other people that they exist in the team, right? This may have a little to do with you because it's the impression that this person is perceiving from your body language, your uh, choice of words um, that you can't really control. Of course, we will all try to be better interviewees in how we, we say things, how we uh, talk about difficult topics, but often it's an impression that this person is getting from you that it doesn't have a whole lot to do with you. So these are some four ways you get to know from an interview that you have no control over. And therefore, just because you get rejections, believe me, I've got over 100 rejections, right, throughout my career, you know. In fact, for any, for one, every um, offer that I got, I probably, on average, I got um, 
after going through the interviews, I probably got, you know, maybe four or five rejections per offer. So it is normal to have rejections that has nothing to do with you. So get up and go and go to the next interview because chances are the reason you didn't get the job has nothing to do with you. All right. Hope you found this useful and I will see you in the next video.